is to pull up and park. We can go on foot from here. Come on, this way. You want an office here? Is that it, Hopkins? No, sir, I do not. I live here. You in some kind of movie work? Have been for 30 years. More than 30 years. That so? You an actor? Hopkins. Haven't you ever heard the name? I'm a producer. Oh, I see. Why didn't you tell us that to start with? Oh, I don't know. Different reasons. I didn't want to throw my weight around. I have a lot of connections in Hollywood, you know. That so? In the trade 30 years. I was one of the first. You can make a lot of friends in 30 years. How about the books and pictures we found in your car? How do you explain it? Come on over here. I'll show you boys something you never saw in your life before. show you this, I'm going to tell you something. Yeah, what's that? This studio will be back on its feet in a year. I'll bet a thousand dollars on it. This whole block here, sound stages. I got plans for them in my desk. That's so. You have an interest in this lot, do you? Not exactly. Not right now, anyway. I did have an interest, though. I will again. I was one of the original owners, you know. Is that right? Me and five other men. We were the top people in Hollywood when we opened West Side. I was a young fellow at the time. We made pictures, mister. Great pictures. Not like today. It's changed. It's all gone now. What have you been doing lately, Hopkins? I mean, what do you do for a living? Different things. I have a few investments, private income. I made money with the West Side. That's when the town was really turning out pictures. I made big money. What are you doing today? I told you. Different things. Pro. We have a lot of them out here. You like the nest new eucalyptus trees over there. Nice sound, isn't it? Now, look, we still haven't got an explanation. How about the books and pictures that we found in your car? Oh, that? Hmm. Nothing to explain, is there? Just a few gimmicks I picked up. You know a boy by the name of Steve Banner? Banner? No, I don't think so. Why? How about Bud Spencer? You know him? No, I knew a George Spencer once. Actor. And that was back in the old days, though. So. How about Laura Osborne, Dorothy Ryan? Do you know them? No, it's pretty hard to say, you know, Sergeant. Over the years, in this business especially, you meet an awful lot of people. Yeah, well, these are fairly recent. You ought to remember them. They're just kids. Seventeen-year-olds. No, I'm afraid I can't recall the names. You know, we might go into television here. I don't know. Television films? Trouble is, they make them too fast. Trade's not like it used to be. Quality, that's what we went after. It's all gone now. It's all gone. West Side will do it again, though. You can bet on that. We're coming back. How about leveling, Hopkins? You know why we picked you up. You know why we're out here. That's just it. I don't know. This way. How about it, officer? You remember this one? Don't believe I do. Well, no offense. You were in knee pants when I shot my westerns here. Great stories. One of them was the greatest of all. Is that right? Greatest of them all. Thunder on the trail. That's what we called it. We shot the big scene for it right on the street. That was almost 30 years ago. <laughs> Doesn't seem that long. Just like yesterday. Yeah. Conway Blackburn was my director for that one. Big Clyde Harrison was the star. Always called him Big Clyde. Didn't look too strong, but he had arms like steel. You know, that man could lift an engine right out of an automobile with his two hands. Powerful. That's so. And how he could handle a horse. Ride like the wind, old Clyde. Never looked better in his life than he did that day. I was there. I know. Is that right? Thunder on the trail. Shot the final big scene right on this street. Great thrill, officers. One of those things that happens once in a lifetime. Never forget it. Now, this here was the town. See what I mean? Frontier settlement. Rough as they come. It's where the Kelsey gang was hanging out. Real bunch of killers. Just in the picture, I mean. Uh-huh. And single-handed, Big Clyde came into town to take on the leader. That was Tim Kelsey. He'd killed Clyde's brother, and Clyde was out for revenge. 
We should have been here to see us. It was Saturday night. The town was wide open, going full blast. Over in the Palace Hotel, they were betting ten to one that Clyde would never make it. And right across the street, there in the Silver Dollar, Kelsey's gang was setting up drinks on the house. They felt that sure of themselves. The town was swarming with people. And I was standing right there, Connie, the director, right behind the camera. Right next to us, we had the orchestra. You know, three pieces. We had to have the orchestra to get the actors in the mood. I see. Yes, sir. There it was, all ready to go. A thousand extras. It was all set. The big scene. Connie gave the sign to the orchestra. That's it, boys. Keep it bright. Connie looked around just to check once more to see that everything was all right. And he picked up the megaphone. All right, everybody. Place it, everybody. All right. Head up. Action. All right, Clyde. There he came, riding into town. Big Clyde. Way up from the end of the street. Came right straight through the town. Past the telegraph office, past the general store, riding straight toward the silver dollar. Yeah. A little slower, Clyde. A little slower. That's it. Now head straight for us. Right up to the hitching post there. Good boy, Clyde. Now he dismounts. Tethers his horse, golden fury. Now he turns. Looks around him. And he starts straight for the swinging doors. Look, grin, Clyde. That's it. A little more. Set your jaw. Good. Now, right through the doors. Hit him hard. There he goes. The whole Kelsey gang in there ready to kill him. There's no reaction for a few seconds. And all of a sudden it gets quiet. Dead quiet. Tim Kelsey looks up from the bar. He sees Clyde. All right, now. Throw that lamp. Smash it! Tim the fight starts. Tremendous fight. No holds barred. One end of the room to the other. Finally, they crash the three doors to up. Tim Kelsey die. Wrestling, slugging, kicking, punching each other. Kelsey goes down. Then Clyde. Then Kelsey. Clyde goes down. Then Kelsey. One of the gang standing by over the palace hotel. Draws his gun. Look out, Clyde! Fight! Three times! Right into the shoulder. Kelsey takes aim to finish him off. Clyde whips out his gun from his holster and fires twice. Once more. Kelsey stops short. Dead. The other man staggers a little bit, doubles up, crumples, falls down the stairs into the dirt. Clyde starts to get up. One of the gang in the saloon takes a beat on him. Clyde whirls and fires. Good boy, Clyde. Good. Now, slowly. Over to your horse. Slowly. That's it. Put your arm around his neck. <laughs> he nuzzles you a little. Now back in the saddle. Slow. Deliberate. You're wounded. It hurts, Clyde. Now you turn. Look off down the street. You start to soften. You see the school mom, Gladys, your sweetheart. That's it. Warmer. Good. Now you go to her, boy. Go to her. Pick her up and put her on Golden Fury with you. That's it. There he goes. Beautiful. Beautiful. The two of them riding toward the hills. Riding off together. Cut it! Just the way it was. Yes, sir. I stood here and saw it. They don't make pictures like that anymore. Yeah. How about it, Hopkins? You want to tell us now? What is there to tell? You've been working the school trade, haven't you? Books, pictures, hiring kids like Steve Banner, Bud Spencer. Yeah. I'm ashamed. Who wouldn't be? I had to eat. It was the only way. I had to live. Yeah, well, there's still honest jobs to be had. No way of telling how many youngsters you hurt by spreading that junk around. No way of adding up the trouble you caused. Yes, I knew I was wrong. I'm sorry for that. How about this man named Jack? What was his part? He was in with me. He used to be my cameraman back in the old days. Same thing. I can't blame him either. He had to live, too. Where do you keep the stuff? I'll show you. All right. You ready to go? 
Yes. Kind of a long walk. Would you like to read the trade papers on the way? Yesterday's. January 29th, trial was held in Division 87, Municipal Court, City and County of Los Angeles, State of California. In a moment, the results of that trial. The suspect was tried and convicted of violation of Section 311 of the California Penal Code, manufacturing and distributing obscene literature. His accomplice, Jack Lavery, was apprehended and tried and convicted of the same charges. Violation of Section 311 PC is punishable by imprisonment in the county jail for a period not to exceed six months or by a fine of $500 or both.